According to the groundbreaking mathematician Isaac Newton, the force of gravity acting between the Earth and any other object, like these rocks, is directly proportional to the mass of the Earth, directly proportional to the mass of the object, and inversely proportional to the square of the distance that separates the centers of the Earth and the object. But is it gravity at work here in these videos? And if gravity doesn't appear to work normally with these strange formations, there's got to be an explanation, right? Isaac Newton couldn't be wrong, after all. There's rocks that seem to float in the air, rocks that grow, there's even stones shaped like an upside-down sombrero. Still, why don't these hanging rocks fall? <laughs> Number 15. Floating Stone What a great god, what a powerful sustainer of the whole world, cried the person who posted this. This picture, posted online by a Nigerian preacher, shared thousands of times, supposedly shows a large rock floating miraculously in the air in Jerusalem. In fact, the rock is located in Saudi Arabia, and it isn't floating at all. From Google Maps, as well as the large number of photos and videos of the rock posted online, you can see that it's attached to the ground. This image appears to have been digitally altered to make it look like the rock is floating. The viral image is photoshopped. First, the rock is not floating in the air, but supported by three stones at its pedestal. Second, the rock is situated not in Jerusalem, but Al Hassa in Saudi Arabia. In fact, many YouTubers have uploaded videos with a similar caption. In these videos, they showed the same rock and explained how it was placed over three small stones at the base attached to the bedrock. But it's an easy mistake, we're guessing. Depending on the angle you look at this stone, it does look like it's floating in the air, but upon closer inspection, you can find it perched on these three pedestals beneath it. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly! Number 14. The Butterball Eternally perched on a steep rock slope in the historic town of Mahabaliburam, India, this massive round boulder, known as Krishna's Butterball, defies gravity. The giant boulder appears to be frozen in its roll down the hill it sits on, and no one is quite sure why. According to Hindu mythology, when the great god Krishna was just a baby, he was fond of stealing butter. The big orange stone has been likened to a giant dollop of butter. The actual name of the stone translates to Sky's God Stone, and according to one source, the more playful name was given to the rock by a local tour guide. But let's face it, however it got its sort of name, it works for us. The huge boulder is likely a glacial erratic that got stranded in that position on the hill. But local legend has another version of the story. People here believe the purpose of doing so was to show the might and power of the gods to the inhabitants of that town. A more modern explanation substitutes the gods with extraterrestrials who visited the area thousands of years ago. Today, visitors to the site love to try to get behind the stone and try to push it down the hill, reinforcing the stone's strangely balanced position. The slippery stone slope is used by local children as a slide. So far, no human power has been able to budge the buttery boulder. Number 13. Karak Bolten. This is the highest point in the Forsan municipality in Norway. It's also home to this, this Karak Bolden, the famous rock firmly anchored between two cliffs. The rock itself is a 180 cubic feet glacial deposit wedged in the mountain's crevasse. It's a popular tourist destination and is accessible without any climbing equipment. However, it's suspended above a 3,228 foot deep abyss. So, if you're height sensitive, this is not the destination for you. During the several ice ages known to have occurred in Scandinavia, Norway was completely covered in glaciers. The place lies in a weak tectonic zone, allowing the river to dig into the surrounding sandstone mountain. Between the ice ages, the meltwater formed and reformed the valley up to 22 times. After the last ice age, global warming caused a rise in sea level, flooding the fjords. The boulder was deposited during the last glacial period, at around 50,000 BC. As the Norwegian glacier melted, it was accompanied by a rebound in rock formations as the ice was removed. In this case, the rebound was faster than the rising sea level, which wedged the rock into its current position. It's also a popular site for base jumping. Imagine jumping from that height like the brave base jumpers you might see during your visit. Number 12. 
Brimham Rocks. Picture Mount Everest over 400 million years ago. A large mountain range just like the Himalayas stood not far from where Brimham Rocks now stands. Over time, powerful, erosive forces slowly wore them away, creating a river delta. These sands were later compacted, beginning the lost process of shaping the rocks into structures like this. It's as if it was built by giant hands. Fast forward millions of years, the rocks, newly exposed, became prey to ice and sandblasting winds, carving away at them, leaving behind the range of the otherworldly shapes you see today. People have been drawn to Brimham rocks for hundreds of years by the bizarre formations. In the mid-18th century, it was declared that the rocks had been made by druids. Myths and legends such as this made Brimham a popular destination for Victorians, particularly with the arrival of the railways. Refreshments were available from Brimham House, which had been built by Lord Grantley in 1792 for the accommodation of strangers. Various other buildings came and went through the 20th century until the National Trust took over in 1970. Nowadays, the rocks now fascinate and inspire thousands of people every year. Number 11. Kamakavi. It's Finnish for strange rock, and that's an understatement. It can be found balanced upon another rock in the middle of the forest. It's a natural feature found in a scenic forest region in a municipality in the region of South Karelia, in the southeastern part of Finland. Two rocks make up this unusual geological formation. The rock on the bottom has the shape of a curved mound. It's lodged in the earth and has a smooth, convex surface. Resting on the top of this bedrock is another huge rock measuring about 22.97 feet. The contact point between these two rocks is rather small, and it looks as though the upper rock is performing an impossible balancing act. Anyone looking at this balancing rock for the first time would probably be expecting the upper rock to roll off at any moment. Yet the rock is firmly anchored onto the bedrock and is yet to be pushed over by any human being. This strange sight perplexed visitors since its discovery and spawned stories of giants having balanced the rock in its position, but geologists have a more realistic explanation, glaciers. This isn't the first balancing rock to be discovered, and scientists believe that glaciers, capable of carrying such a heavy rock with them, left it behind 8,000 years ago. The power of glaciers trumps even giants. Number 10. Nature's Time Post Check out this force of nature standing proudly on the cliffs overlooking St. Mary's Bay in Nova Scotia, on the east coast of Canada. This column of rock sitting at the edge of the cliff looking like it will fall over at any minute. Folks come here because they don't believe what they see. This rock is a narrow vertical 30-foot high column of basalt hanging on for dear life on cliffs overlooking the Bay of Fundy. Called Nature's Time Post, the balancing rock is the most photographed of Long Island's striking basalt formations. No one knows for sure how long it's been like this, but it could be thousands of years. You'll see that the erosion from the bay has caused many other similar columns to collapse, but not this one. Even when fishermen tried to pull it down with their boats, no way. This is a solid piece of rock that refuses to move. If you want to walk the trail and see the site, it's a bit of a journey to get here. You have to take a ferry from the province's mainland to Long Island. Once you make it to the trail, you can wander through woods and wetlands until you reach that 235-step staircase. Then that leads you down into a lookout spot with views of the beautiful blue water of St. Mary's Bay and, of course, the Balancing Rock. Number 9. The Rocking Stone This stone weighs 74 tons and is Northern Europe's largest moving stone. The stone is a moving block that happens to be at the tipping point, so if you're willing to put some elbow grease into it, you too can rock this stone. This rocking stone is located in Norway, so you have to get there first if you want to flex your muscles. It sure looks great in videos and pics you can post online. The rocking stone is an easy walk from the car park along an old railway track, suitable for strollers and bikes. As you can see, it's fun for the whole family. The balance of the rocking stone is perfect with the point which touches the ground, so it is possible, even for children, to move the tilting boulder and give the stone a visible movement. It's situated in such a way that it does not take a whole lot of effort to rock all these tons back and forth. But remember, this is a site of very historical significance. It was protected in 1923 as the first geological protection site in Norway. This is an area of unspoiled scenery and has few visitors. The rocking attraction has been here for about 930 million years, and it's not going anywhere. Number 8. Golden Rock Pagoda 
resting atop Mount Kyaktio is one of the three most sacred religious sites in Myanmar, in Burma. However, we think this should be number one. Does gravity even work here? The Kyaktio Pagoda, aka the Golden Boulder, aka the Golden Rock of Myanmar, stands 24 feet tall. It's massive and unbelievably heavy. The boulder rests on the edge of a cliff with more than half of its surface leaning out over open air. It's fantastic to look at, but just wait until you hear its origin story. The boulder has become sacred among spiritual enthusiasts because, legend has it, the boulder remains in place because it's perfectly balanced on a strand of the Buddha's hair. On one of his many visits, Buddha gave a strand of his hair to a hermit. The hermit gave the hair to the king, asking that it be enshrined in a boulder. With a little mystical help, the king found a place for the hair on the top of the mountain and there the hair and the boulder remained. Another legend says that a Buddhist priest used his natural powers to carry the rock to its current place. It's hard to fathom how that's even possible, but there it is. Number 7. Devil's Marbles These stones are a symbol of the outback in Australia and across the world. Yet the classic photo of the giant rounded boulders in the vast landscape hardly does justice to this area. It's much more extensive and spiritually significant than portrayed on most postcards. While some people have asserted that the giant rocks are fossilized eggs of the rainbow serpent, this belief is not widely held. Still, the entire area is of great spiritual significance to many in Australia. Known as Karlu Karlu by Aboriginals, many creation stories of this area take place near the Devil's Marbles. Over millions of years, erosion of sandstone and exposure to the elements caused three granite rocks to take rounded edges, making many fields full of the marbles. Beyond their significance, the Devil's Marbles conservation area is much larger than most give it credit. The park actually spans 4,500 acres and houses hundreds of rounded rocks. Some of the rocks are over 20 feet in diameter, while others are smaller than one foot. One of the biggest rocks was taken from the site and dedicated as a memorial to a famous Australian who founded a rural emergency service for the outback. However, since the Devil's Marbles area is a sacred site, the move was met with great protest and the rock was returned to its natural habitat. You don't mess with the Devil's Marbles. Number 6. Garden of the Gods this area, now known as Garden of the Gods, was first called Red Rock Coral by the Europeans. Then, in August 1859, two surveyors who helped to set up Colorado City explored the site. One of the surveyors suggested that it would be a capital place for a beer garden. His companion, awestruck by the impressive rock formations, exclaimed, Beer garden? Why, it's a fit place for the gods to assemble. We'll call it the Garden of the Gods. The outstanding geologic features of the park are the ancient sedimentary beds of deep red, pink, and white sandstones and limestone that were deposited horizontally, but have now been tilted vertically and faulted into fins by the immense mountain building forces. The following ice age resulted in erosion and glaciation of the rock, creating the present rock formations. Speaking of its most iconic feature, Balanced Rock is one of the most popular rock formations that's a must-see during your visit to Colorado. This rock has balanced in place for years, and it's huge. It rises 35 feet above its pedestal base, and it weighs approximately 1.4 million pounds. The garden's red rock formations were created during a geological upheaval along a natural fault line millions of years ago, and evidence shows that people visited Garden of the Gods about 1330 BC. Number 5. Stone Sculptors Rock balancing or stone balancing, stone or rock stacking, is an art, hobby, or some would say, a form of vandalism in which rocks are naturally balanced on top of one another. It certainly is impressive to look at. The rocks are placed in various positions without the use of adhesives, wires, supports, rings, or any other contraptions which would help maintain the construction's balance. Rock balancing is an activity which gained much awareness in recent years but it's actually an ancient practice which goes way back in time. We don't know who balanced the rocks first, but we wouldn't be surprised if it was a caveman. And to this day, many people come in sight of a rock balance sculpture consider it impossible at first. The number of rock piles created like this in natural areas has recently begun to worry conservationists because they can misdirect hikers, expose the soil to erosion, and aesthetically intrude upon the natural landscape. Do you agree? Many people enjoy the meditative quality attempting these feats of extreme balancing. As long as you keep it simple and you do it for fun, 
only you will connect with nature in a very strong and unique way. Furthermore, it encourages confidence, creativity, and the knowledge of physical laws, even though it looks like it defies them. Number 4. Mexican Hat Mexican Hat, one of Utah's strangest rock formations, is really not a hat at all, but a sombrero with a wide brim jutting above a narrow head, upside down. The formation balances a flattened pancake disc atop a 300-foot high talus cone. Both formations date from over 250 million years ago. Early ancestors of the dinosaurs populated the ancient landscape, leaving fossilized skeletons and bones as record of their passage. And over time, erosion dissected the shale, leaving this spectacular remnant of the erosion-resistant sandstone. The rock, a famed landmark along US-163, rises east of the highway above the west bank of the San Juan River. Because of its location next to a major highway, Mexican Hat practically begs to be climbed. Its first recorded ascent was in May of 1962, although a pole on top indicated that locals had somehow attained the summit previously. The hat is famed for all kinds of crazy climber antics. Over a dozen folks have stood on the summit at one time, and we can't blame them. Who wouldn't want to climb this rock sombrero? Number 3. The Growing Stones Trovents are extraordinary rocks that grow and multiply, and you can witness these rocks in Romania. They aren't just unique because of their ability to multiply. These rocks are composed mainly of a hard stone core, and the rest is made up of sand, which forms around the core as its shell. They can only be made by highly porous sand accumulations and sandstone deposits that are cemented by waters rich in calcium carbonate. So, what makes these rocks multiply? Any form of water rich in calcium carbonate is essential in forming a trovent, and that's also the key to make the rock grow in the presence of rainwater. After every heavy rain shower, trovents absorb the rain's minerals. The minerals are combined with the chemicals already present in the stone that later creates a reaction and pressure inside. The pressure spontaneously makes the rock grow from the center to its margins and multiply. The growing stones develop these inconsistent shapes as they grow due to irregular cement secretion. You can see these formations grow from a few millimeters or to as large as 25 feet. They can also move from one place to another. Because they're lighter than regular stones, these things get around. Number 2. Al Nasla This sandstone block is connected to what looks like an eroded natural pedestal, and it's split through the middle by a clean straight split as if the rock was sliced with a laser. Now, odd natural occurrences like this might mystify most of us. Usually, there's a logical explanation. The Al Nasla rock formation located in Saudi Arabia is one of these mysteries. The block is also archaeologically significant because of the ancient rock art that resembles a horse or camel that's engraved onto it. And that's why Al Nasla is one of the most photographed petroglyphs worldwide. The lower section of the block resembles what's called a ventifact. Geological formations created by abrasion from wind-blown sand beating against a rock surface. This can create rocks with unusual shapes and very smooth surfaces. Or Al Nasla could be an old pressure crack that's been pushed then pulled apart some. Or it could be an old fault line, since fault motion often creates a zone of weakened rock that erodes easier than the surrounding rock. Either way, that crack looks so precise, but researchers believe that most likely the ground shifted underneath one of the two supports and the rock split and the perfect slice between the two standing stones and that flat faces is completely natural. Number 1. The Cairo Airport Stones A photo of this has been shared thousands of times in multiple posts online which claim it shows stones tied up by a prophet 1400 years ago. There are two controversial stones at Cairo International Airport. One carrying the other with a rope seems to defy the laws of physics. However, the prophet connection is fake news. The claim is false. This is a sculpture created by an Egyptian artist for Cairo International Airport in 2008. The artist, Shaban Abbas. He was born in 1969 and received a bachelor's degree in sculpting from the University of Fine Arts of Helwan. As for the origins of his work, he said, In our village, we always make shapes with mud, so the art of sculpting was engraved in us from an early age. His artwork can be found in various museums in Egypt, including the Museum of Modern Egyptian Art and the Garden Museum at the Gezira Art Center, Cairo. At first glance, it gives us an impression that something about the sculpture is just not right, and at second look, it just seems impossible. Apparently, it is. It's made of iron sieve wrapped with cloth after they color it just like a stone. 
so the total weight may be around 10 pounds for each stone. But it looks deceiving. They're linked with an iron bar covered with rope string. Cool idea, huh? We can't get enough of these iconic rock formations, and there's way more great content lined up for you. Just like and subscribe and leave a comment below.